guys, welcome back to my channel. I promised you guys a video of my perfume collection and I think today's a good day to deliver on that. Um, I have a large fragrance collection, so there are gonna be some stipulations before we even get started. I did just film my declutter of my Bath & Body Works slash all of my body sprays, and I will not be mentioning those in this video either because if you wanna see what I kept, you can go watch that video. I will link it um, in the cards for you as well as in the description box. This is gonna be strictly full-sized perfumes. Hold on for the ride, you guys. I hope you definitely take something from this and maybe discover a fragrance that you never thought you'd like. I really, really think that this is going to be a really good video. So we're going to dive right in. If you have not subscribed already, don't forget to jump down and subscribe before you leave. Also, leave me a thumbs up if this kind of video is something that you want to see more of. If you would like to see other parts of my collection, definitely let me know. All right, let's do this. Hold on. I got to go grab a bunch to bring up here. So hold on. I'll bring it back. This first one I'm going to butcher the name out of because I'm not French. So um, it is Prada Candy Lou, L-E-A-U. Anyway, this is one of the Prada Candies. This one is a very lightly scented floral and it has a slight citrus in the middle. You really pick up the warm caramel at the end though. I feel like this one isn't as floral as it is more of that like vanilla caramel scent. Um, it's not overpowering by any means. It's actually a very fresh light perfume. It's not, it's one that it's gonna get noticed, but it's not one that's gonna choke out the people around you if that makes sense. It's a little bit more classy than um, the other candies. I feel like the other candies are very sweet. This one has more of a classier note to it. I would definitely say this is more of a nighttime scent than an everyday scent, but either way, it is really, really nice. This next product candy is the floral um, version of it. And this one is very sweet. It's very clean. It is very floral. Um, it does also have a little bit of citrus in it, a hint of citrus, but this one's really floral and I love it. Um, and this is more of like an everyday kind of playful, very innocent, um, dainty perfume. It's just a beautiful everyday kind of scent, especially in the spring. So there is Prada Candy Floral. Next we have Michael Kors in the 24 Karat Brilliant Gold. Um, this is the packaging. It is stunning. And this one is again, another floral, but this one has a very strong strong mandarin orange note. Oh my god. It is floral, it is mandarin orange, and there's a little bit of a woodiness at the very, very end. This lasts a very long time on the skin, and it is a very bold scent. Not, again, whether you're gonna choke everybody around you, but you're gonna smell it. You're gonna smell it on you, which is what I prefer. I don't wanna wear a perfume that I can't smell. What's the point? This next one is by Tokyo Milk Dark, and this is the Tainted Love Perfume. I just filmed a review on this one. So I'm going to avoid really giving you my thoughts on this perfume because I did do a full review on it, but I will tell you what the notes are. So this is a deeper perfume and the notes in this are dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. So if you are somebody who likes floral, fresh, very light perfumes, this is not for you. This smells an awful lot like really good cigar tobacco. Go watch that video. I'll link it up in the cards right now. It's a short review, but it's a good review. The next perfume I have also talked about, and this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. I do have a review on this in my splurge worthy video, which I will link, you know the routine, up there. So I did do a full review on it, I love it. This top notes are peony, um, it's a little bit musky, it's like a dark, sophisticated. It lasts a really, really long time. And like I said, go watch the video that I put up in the cards and check out the full review of this because this is an awesome perfume. This is the Marc Jacobs Mod Noir perfume. This one was an exclusive to Sephora, as you can tell by the colors. I have one in use and two backups because I love it that much. If you like the scent of gardenia, you need to get your hands on this perfume. It is so strong in the gardenia department. It'll satisfy every bit of your need for that scent. This is such a fresh, clean, springy scent. It's gorgeous. It's a strong scent, so you'll definitely have it noticed, but it's not strong, again, where it's gonna like, you know, make people cough or anything like that. I have gotten more compliments on this perfume than any other Marc Jacobs perfume. We're gonna stick with Marc Jacobs for another minute, and this is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Now, this packaging, I've talked about this one before. I think this was in my December favorites, um, which, guess what? It's gonna be linked up there. Um, this is Marc Jacobs Decadence. The packaging, Marc Jacobs can do no wrong with packaging, I swear. This is a very, 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 very deep, strong, sweet, heavy scent. In that 
aspect, I don't mind it because this is more of like my date night or night out or special occasion perfume. This definitely would never be my daily wearer. It's too heavy. But that being said, it's very sexy. Taking a sniff, taking a smell. Neither one of those sounds cute, but you know what I'm talking about. Use your sniffer. Check it out at Sephora. Yes. This next one is by Bulgari, and this is the Omnia Crystalline. And this one is very different from a lot of other scents that I have. Um, this one is very bold and vibrant, and this is a really good perfume for just every day. And not many of these I've said so far that you can wear them every day normally. This is really truly like a work appropriate everyday kind of casual scent. And the packaging's awesome. I mean, come on, that's like the coolest packaging ever. This next perfume is my new obsession. And I was gonna keep it a secret because I ha everybody needs to have a beauty secret, like their own little thing that not many people talk about. When people hear of Lancome fragrance, they think, oh, La Vie Est Belle. They don't realize that Lancome has a lot of fragrance, and this one is one of the least I've never ever seen anyone talk about it. Lancome lady who happens to be a friend of mine, and she told me when I t asked her about this one, she said, you know, that is one of the best smelling perfumes that we offer, but everybody's so focused on the La Vie Est Belle nobody pays attention to it. This has the strongest orange blossom scent. If there's any other scent in here, I'd be shocked because it's so strong of that beautiful, warm, seductive, just summertime orange blossom. If you have a Lancome counter, because I don't know if you can get this at Sephora, I doubt it. Eau de l'Orangerie. Yeah. Eau de l'Orangerie. Let's we'll see how many times I can say it, Shay. Um, bottle's gorgeous. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. It's a light green. They have three different bottles like this, but they're different scents. This one is the orange scent. Just tell them that. This has been my secret. When people ask me what I'm wearing, this is usually what it is. Eau de l'Orangerie. Almost 10 years, actually. Almost 10 years I've loved this perfume. This is by Elizabeth Taylor, and this is the Brilliant White Diamonds. It comes in a frosted white container and it has like rhinestones around the rim and then a silver cap. Very, very difficult to find in stores. I order mine off Amazon because you can't find it really anywhere else. But this is my favorite of all of them. It smells nothing like the rest of the... Ugh. This one smells so fresh and like it's very, very, not tart, but crisp. It's very crisp. It almost smells like when you go into a very high-end salon and you smell all the shampoos going and all the treatments going and it gives you that really spa-like scent, that's this. You barely need anything, and it smells on you all day. Again, I get lots of compliments, I get chased down to ask what I'm wearing, and it's beautiful. So Elizabeth Taylor, Brilliant White Diamonds. Another one of my absolute favorites, and this was actually a Christmas gift this year from Nick. I was shocked that he picked this one out because I love this one. This is YSL Mon Perry. And yes, I know, this is the big mamma jamma, the biggest size you can get. That poor man, I hate to think what he was thinking as they rung him up and he saw the price that is on a YSL perfume in this size, but I'm happy because I love it. Very, very beautiful. Um, it It is slightly on the herbaly side because of that patchouli. That You can definitely smell the patchouli but mixed with those white florals and then the berries, it just has a beautiful gradient of scent. Very long lasting, it's very sensual, very sexy, um, and very feminine. It is an intoxicating scent. So if you have not tested this out, same thing, I'm gonna say it again, go get a sample from Sephora and test it out. And this is by Mary Kay, and this is in the scent Dance to Life. And this one I did talk about in a favorites video, I believe, and when I find it or figure it out, I'll link it in the description box below. I will put the names of these perfumes in the description box with the correlating video link so you can watch a review or whatever. So I'm not gonna talk too much about this other than I will say it is a beautiful floral, very everyday kind of wear. I very much enjoy this. I had no clue Mary Kay even made fragrance somebody gave this to me and I love it. I had to take a few minutes break because my camera was overheating and lucky for you I did because my dog decided to let out a beautiful fart right as I was about to start filming. So thank you Winter for the orchestra but let's let's go on. So we left off at Mary Kay. We are now going to talk about um, my signature scent, this. And I have another full-size bottle back up. I will never in my life be without this perfume unless for some reason they stop making it and I can no longer search eBay to find it. Um, this is Giorgio Armani's Armani Code for Women. This is heaven to me. This is my type of scent. This is my preferred scent. I've been wearing this since before any of my kids were even thought of being conceived. I can't even tell you how long I've been wearing this perfume. This is a very seductive, deep scent. This is not a scent 
other than myself that you would want to wear every single day. Um, this is a very much date night scent. It is very, very sexy, very feminine. It's amazing. If, if there's one perfume I recommend that you go and sample from Sephora, if you like deeper scents, just go check it out. Go check it out. I have a obsession with Giorgio Armani fragrances. I think that pretty much Giorgio Armani and fragrance can do no wrong. So um, I have a couple more because I do love them that much. So this first one here is Sky de Jo. And this one is the, the pink one. The Sky de Jo is a floral and it's very fruity. It's a fruity floral. Oh, but it's so delicious. <laughs> um, this is a very feminine, soft, very modern and elegant perfume. It's definitely something you could wear day to day. So all of their perfumes are very strong, long lasting, in a good way. Sky de Jo is kind of light, airy, fresh, floral, like a, like a slight spring day. Now we're gonna talk Sun de Jo. This right here, right here, is summer in a bottle. It's radiant, it's joyful, it, it reminds me of like just the salt on your skin at a beach with the sun beaming onto your face. It's not strong in coconut. It's actually, it's very hard for me to pick out what the top note of this is. I want to say that it's the solar floral top notes. Basically, you know, summertime flower, honeysuckle, orange blossom, that kind of thing. But seriously, if you're looking for a true summertime scent, Go smell this, it's amazing. And one more Marc Jacobs, because like I said, I have an issue. Now I broke the crap out of this. His top is missing, the little ladybug's missing, but this is Marc Jacobs dot. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's so hard to describe this scent because it has so many different notes. Like literally every time you smell, even now, I'm smelling it around me and it's changing. It's just changing from note to note to note, but it's so, Oh, it's into it is intoxicating. Um, this is another one that I get stopped and asked what I'm wearing because it's not really a common perfume. Um, the Daisy Dream is very popular. The Decadence is very popular. Um, but the Dot, I don't see a lot about. And I really like this one. This is the uh, Calvin Klein Deep Euphoria. Again, janky. No cap. I've had this forever. This is a very, um, like, wintry fruit. So we're not talking strawberry and blueberry. We're talking like winter melon. We're talking plum and um, snowberries. It's deeper, deeper fruity scents. And the florals are also very deep. So we're talking like iris and violet, deeper scents. Beautiful, sweet, the minions in here. Beautiful and sweet, very long lasting, very elegant, mature, but not old. It's really nice. This is Stella McCartney Pop. And this to me, I call this my Barbie perfume because it smells like when you open the old Barbies when they had that beautiful like perfumed scent when you opened up a Barbie package. That's what this smells like. It's the only way I can describe it. And it's sweet. It's very bright and positive. Like you wear this and you feel just like the day is gonna be such a great day. And it's a bold scent. Again, again, another one that you can smell on you. This one does tend to wear off on me by the end of the day, but it's such a strong scent while it's on. It's beautiful. Obviously, if I have a full-size backup, there's a reason. I'm a perfume connoisseur, and I still have a backup of this. The next one we're going to talk about is another one by Marc Jacobs, and this is Daisy Dream. Not the original Daisy, which I like, but this is Daisy Dream. This one is a very light, fresh, floral with a little bit of fruit in it. Um, this one does not last on my skin as long as any of these other ones that I've talked about, but it's okay because this is the kind of scent that I don't mind layering because it's not gonna ever get to be too much. It is an everyday scent for sure. It's definitely an everyday scent. Very, very beautiful bottle. Again, Marc Jacobs nails his packaging, but I do like this one. This is a really good wedding day perfume. I feel like this would be a really great wedding day fragrance. We're gonna really quick talk about Victoria's Secret because this scent right here is one of my favorites. This one is in the scent Crush and oh, I love this one. This is such a fun, like light, everyday, I'm just gonna say pretty, because it makes me feel pretty. I just love wearing this because it's such a, it's a very light scent, but at the same time, it's noticeable. And I do get a lot of compliments on it. And I love the packaging. I think this is so cute because it's reminiscent of the old days and I think it's adorable. But this is Crush. And if you haven't smelled Crush, I would recommend it. It's got a lot of like melon notes to it. And then it does have some uh, florals to it. Really, really pretty. So these two are brand new, brandy, pretty much brand new from Rue 21, but they released these fragrances. Now these are obviously in their box. They come in a really pretty box. Um, I have two of them, there's four. I have the floral and the clean and they're called me. Um, and basically what they are is they're layering perfumes. Think around the lines of like the perfume brand clean, clean skin, clean this, clean that, where you can layer and create your own. That's kind of what these are like. So you open up these boxes and 
the inside will tell you what the notes are and you know correlates and all that stuff so the bottles look like this you get a decent amount of product in the bottles i mean that's two ounces they are completely cruelty free and vegan and they're 90 percent natural which is awesome and the scents are gorgeous and i do wear these on their own sometimes but more often than not when i do wear them i wear one spritz of each together so the second one that i have is clean so this one basically is very fresh you really do pick up on a lot of different notes with these and i like that because depending on how long you've been wearing it on your skin's ph on what you're layering with it you pick up on different notes each time so it's almost like wearing a new perfume each time you wear it i really really like these and the best part is they're like 10 bucks um and rue 21 often does a buy one get one half off or you know buy one or 40 percent off sale you can always find their perfumes on sale i do have another rue 21 perfume but it, it was limited edition it's discontinued so i don't want to talk about it but these two are current they're beautiful if you like the idea of layering scents like in the clean brand try these out because i think you'll really really enjoy them and the last two are actually from sonia kashuk purple seductia and red prometia um the red prometia is by far my favorite the uh purple seduction is still very very good so the purple we'll start with the purple has the notes of pomegranate rose and patchouli again this is not a scent that the patchouli stands out what's strong in this is the pomegranate to be honest with you the, the fruitiness stands out more in this than any other scent but i think the patchouli and the rose do a very very good job mellowing out the fruitiness so you're not walking around smelling like a fruit basket very wearable on the daily it's not something that you need to save for date night it's beautiful and again look at the size of the bottle it'll last you forever it's glass it's it's pretty i like the packaging so i'm a fan but the one that i'm obsessed with here is red promethea the notes in here are sandalwood jasmine and vanilla you guys you smell every note, every single note. The vanilla stands out very strong. The jasmine comes through and that sandalwood makes everything just nice and contained and, and just a little bit more warm. It's beautiful. This is something that I will search out when I use it up. I will literally go on a hunt for this because it's so worth it. So you guys, that is it. I really hope that this format of showing you my perfume collection was enjoyable for you. I really wanted to give you a good review of each perfume. I like to give you the notes. I like to give you my experience. I like to explain what it feels like to wear it, what mood you're in when you wear it. So if you guys thought that this video was a good format, please, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below because I want to know if this kind of format is something you'd like to see in the future. Um, or if you really do just want me to go, I have this and this and this empty. You know what I mean? I hope you get what I'm tossing. You catch what I'm tossing? Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you're new here, welcome. I really hope you stick around. Pop down and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or you would like more in-depth reviews on any of these fragrances. And until my next video, you guys, I will talk to you later.